I'm going to be late into uni this morning, that's for sure. I really, really need to show you this. Have a look over the fence and how white and beautiful it is there. Wow! Even more so than yesterday. The frost is absolutely beautiful in Newport. Everyone's saying it on Facebook. It's nearly as thick as snow. Look at the car. Going to get some warm water and clear it up now. Watch the magic. Easy, don't scrape away. All done and got the car running before it froze over again. And before we leave, I'm just going to run upstairs to show you the view from the top window. The very top floor, Gemma and Tom's floor. <laughs> this is Gemma's room, I'm glad it's tidy, there's no knickers on the floor. Look at that! The tall trees over the other side of the road are beautiful, the sunlight shining through, the mist is beautiful. Look, Beverly's down there taking photos as well. When I woke up this morning, I actually considered not going into university just to stay here and take pictures, which I'm probably going to regret that I'm not going to do anyway. Anyway, I don't miss uni, do I? I'm going in now. And bing! I've got my game show host jacket on. I thought it was quite appropriate because it complements the snow and all the ice. See, just look at that lovely pattern. I am slipping all over the place. Good morning, Perky Tits. How are you this morning? Oh, good, thank you. And good morning Trump tits, how's you and your Russian hat this morning? <laughs> oh, we should be staying home, I don't need to go in and learn about art theory. It's crazy to think that this much sunlight with no clouds and it's still freezing cold out. When people say they love winter, this is the sort of winter they love, because I love it too. As long as it doesn't go overcast, cloudy and rainy, that'll do me. Unless you forget that today is Tuesday and today is the last day of the Poker Society tournament. It's proper uncool that I didn't get that much sleep last night, so I'm going to be wrecked by the end of it. Bev? Yes? I'm hungry. Oh. Ah, oh, look at Colleen, that's pretty. It's as if someone's painted it. Anywhere to park at the top of uni? I bet not. Oh, there's one space. I'm going to run down to the bottom quickly to show you the view from uni. Now look at it under completely different light, under just the white ice. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's me, hi. No time to piss about. Uni's starting. <laughs> Kick the tree. Oh, it's snowing. <laughs> I'm going to kick another tree. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, is it snowing outside? I might go and kick that massive one later on. Ah, I hope my favourite seat's safe. How come you're not in yet? No way, man. They're taking our seats. The skanky first years. Some skanky looking first years and stupid hats have stolen my seats and I'm not very happy with them. Alice Pie Balga, is that who's giving a lecture today? She's right down at the front, I won't be able to hear her, or she's starting. Shh. That was a really interesting lecture, although most of it went over my head. It was a bit too far displaced from photographic art to understand from my simple little mind. Do you understand that lecture? It was alright, wasn't it? We've got another two hours with Electra called Kieran now on Duchamp. He always talks about Duchamp. This is the most surreal thing I've ever seen. The lecturers down there playing a harmonica with the Rolling Stones Moonlight Mile playing on the screen. I wish you could see this, but he's down there serenading the whole lecture hall. <laughs> there he is, oh, he's stopped now. <laughs> that was so funny. That was truly one of the most bizarre lectures I've ever had. He was singing, playing the harmonica, he was just mad, talking about alphabets and stuff, I have no idea. He is crazy, Kieran. But he's got a really unhealthy obsession with uh, Marcel Duchamp. We're going to head down to the wet rooms downstairs now so we can pick up our prints that were drying all day. <laughs> yeah, we can pick up Bev's crazy pictures of me and I can pick up my weird pictures of her. Is it light in there? Yes, it is. Have your prints dried well, girls? Yeah. Oh, bloody dear. That doesn't look like dried well. It looks like they've gone crinkle cut. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. So do mine as well. How am I going to flatten these down? Well, this is a complex mismatch of images of faces and stuff. They're the ones that they did of me. They're crazy looking. Look, Beverly, how comfortable do you feel with all your faces just there looking at you? <laughs> Hello Lloyd, he just appears, just like Anthony did yesterday. Lloyd appears all the time. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. And you? Yeah, not bad. Bev's showing Lloyd the pictures of me that she did. These are fantastic. I want to buy one of these, please. Signed, please. <laughs> Go on then, get them in the box. We're trying to keep them flattened. 
So what are you doing, Lloyd? Developing loads of film, all 120 rolls as well. Very nice, glad to see photography film is still in. Tell me something, are these pictures of the old naked women? Oh, nice, I can't wait to see them. <gasps> Do me copies, Lloyd, please. Oh, he's a funny lad. Anthony should be down here somewhere. Well, we've got two choices. We can go for lunch or we can go to one of these seminar things. What do you want to do? What's the vegetarian option today, then? Cheese and onion pie. Cheese and onion pie times. One, two, three. Taste verdict? It was just good, but not as good as mine. Well, lunch was short-lived. We've been decided and persuaded to go down to this seminar thing with some of our other students. It's a room we've never been in before called B10, so we've got to find it. Come on, they're waiting for you two brains. Where the bloody hell is it? Out here somewhere by the library, I've heard. Hi, Lowry. Are you moved? I was going to kick the tree. <laughs> How many people are in there? She doesn't like her face being on camera, so she doesn't look towards me. <laughs> I don't know why, she's so sexy. Oh, lots of people here. What I've been able to go into do was the images, like just lots of different images and like have like excerpts of what... We're really finished, cheap. are we finished? Yes, we are, Sam. <laughs> now we're off to a proper seminar with Eileen. Is it Eileen? Yeah, Eileen. Lowry, look at the camera. There's a reflection there, Lowry, remember? <laughs> Someone stand under the tree with me. Come and stand under the tree. Oh, let's get snowed on. <laughs> <laughs> Indoors, out from the cold and the snow and stuff. <laughs> God, I'm trying to catch her on video. Let's go and see if the class is free so we can go in for our seminar. Why is there nobody in here? Oh, Lloyd's turned up. Hi, Lloyd. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Everybody's here now. Where's Eileen? Everyone but the teacher. Are we finished? Is everyone packing up? Yeah, we learnt nothing as usual. It's brightened up a little bit, the sun's going down though. It's going to be up for about another hour. The tops of the trees are turning orange from the glow. And now we go home and we go and get the poker chips because we've got the tournament number eight tonight and the final one, champion the champions table. Who wants to stand under that tree with me? Come on then, let's stand underneath it. I don't think I'm strong enough to kick these trunks, but I'm going to try. Oh. <laughs> Nothing happens, it's too big. Well, I'm standing underneath the tree. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's not working. <laughs> Ow, God, it's right in my crutch. <laughs> oh, this is rubbish. Bloody useless, I give up. Bev's found a way. You having fun, Gemma? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, look at that. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Get in the car, quick, 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 quick. I want to drive into it. And we're in the car, and oh my God, look at that. That is stunning. Go on, chuck her out. <laughs> That's so mega pretty. I wish you had a better camera on me. So yeah, that seminar we just had was about our essay, and I haven't revealed what I'm doing to Eileen yet, because I'm scared that she'll put me down and say, don't do it, and I have to change my idea. Do you ever get that? Let's focus on the day in hand now. Got to get home, got to get the poker chips, got to come back and got to play all night long to about 5 a.m. Wonder when the vlog will be up. I video this view most times going home, but I've never seen anything like this. It is so pretty. All these trees still have leaves on, but they're all white now, not green. Just look up at that. It's strange as well, because we've only just come out of autumn and there's still leaves on the trees. Home sweet home. Good girl, already home and she's got the tea on. Oh, we run out of water. You know what, I'm pretty disappointed. The post didn't arrive today and I haven't got my poker trophy that I was hoping to give away tonight. It said delivery expected within two to three days. It's been like two friggin' weeks. Gonna need lots of energy for poker tonight and Gemma has cooked as well as made tea. Gemma's made some tea in here, do you want some? Beverly, it's pasta time. Oh, I can't find the light switch. Gemma, this wasn't bad at all. So at the moment, Gemma is definitely in the champion champions table. Tom isn't, neither is Bev, but I am. We've got tonight's final league game, and that runs to about 11 o'clock, and that will decide the top 10 players, which will play at 12 o'clock, all the way through to about 4 or 5 a.m. Oh, I've even washed and showered for the occasion. Something I rarely do. No, I'm only joking. You ready? Yes. 
Come here, babe. I want to show everyone your T-shirt. Ah, oh, look at that. Very <laughs> nice. Shows off your boobs well. Thank you. Come on then, guys. Let's do what we've been born to do. <laughs> You're going to win tonight, Thomas. He's going to try, he says. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow morning, though, when I have to wake up. Oh, look at the lights. It's all dark out nowadays. Oh, they've got to be somewhere in a park. We live at this university. I can see Lloyd's car in the car park, which means he's probably here already. Oh.